Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. The Duke of Sussex may still be feeling hurt about no longer using his royal titles, and that is probably why he said, call me Harry, on his return to Britain. But while he will come to terms with the HRH change, we suspect he will take a lot longer to get over the loss of his cherished military links. We are delighted we will see him in the Netherlands, this summer at the Invictus Games, his brilliant idea that has given so many wounded servicemen and women a newfound purpose. And if the reaction he got in Scotland is anything to go by, he will get a well-deserved reception from everyone. When we saw him smiling and hugging people at the event in Edinburgh, the Harry we have known and respected all his life was back. The fact he flew on a commercial airline from his new home in Canada and traveled by train from London to Edinburgh made us think the private jets and the lectures may be a thing of the past. He may want people to call him plain old Harry, but we shall continue to call him Sir. To us, he will always be the most popular member of the royal family since his mother. And from the reaction we saw the people think the same too. Good luck on this adventure in America and Canada, but we don't think it will be long before he misses this country so much that he will want to come back and become a fully-fledged member of the royal family. We'd hope his self-imposed exile is short-lived, but at the moment he is doing what his wife wants, and that is commendable. But the grass always looks greener over in the neighboring field. So Harry, if you get fed up of making speeches to rich businessmen and you want to come back, just jump on the first plane and come home. We will welcome you with open arms. The love this country has for him has never stopped. As far as the nation is concerned, he is still their number one member of the royal family. Harry is one of those instinctive people who do and say the first thing that comes into their head. And when we saw him hugging people in Edinburgh, we remembered why the public will always love him. Just before Christmas, when he visited a school in Newton, the students were queuing up to give him a hug before he left. That's the Harry we know and love. We will miss him. In a youth club in New Zealand, he was asked to put his painted hand on the wall, which he did. And then he rushed across the room and planted it on Arthur Edwards, royal photographer head, as you see in the picture. We know his father, Prince Charles, is upset that his son is leaving and William, his best friend for many years, will also be sad to see his brother go. But the Queen has given him a year to review it, and he will be welcomed if he decides his future is here back in Britain, in the world's number one family. Another analysis. When did the public turn on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? Royal fans pinpoint the exact moment it happened. With all the negativity in the news lately about Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex leaving the royal family, it's hard to remember a time when most people loved this royal couple. Sure, there were always critics. But back when Harry and Meghan first got engaged, most royal followers were over the moon thrilled for them and looked forward to watching their new lives unfold. When did it all change? It may come down to one pivotal decision the couple made together. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle fell in love quickly. After years of feeling adrift and searching for the right woman to settle down with, Prince Harry finally met the love of his life after being set up by a mutual friend. The two met up in Toronto, and then quickly realized they wanted to spend every minute together. As Meghan explained, we met for a drink, and then I think very quickly into that we said, Zwell, what are we doing tomorrow? We should meet again. Just three weeks after that first meeting the pair took their relationship to the next level by embarking on a trip to Africa. They later described those private, early days as some of the happiest they ever had. Fans were supportive of Prince Harry choosing Meghan Markle. Back when Prince Charles married Diana Spencer, 
a royal blue blood in the line of succession, could never marry a foreign-born divorcee. But times changed and rules relaxed, allowing Prince Harry to choose someone who wasn't in the same social class or even from the same country. Most royal fans approved of Meghan Markle despite her history. Their 2018 royal wedding was the event of the year, with an estimated 1.9 billion viewers worldwide. Even the Queen seemed delighted by her new granddaughter-in-law. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced they were expecting a baby that fall, delighting their millions of fans even more. Then they made another announcement that seemed to change everything. Royal followers were annoyed when Harry and Meghan moved away. The moment it all changed was when the couple began their long, painful separation from the royal family. And that all started with their move from Nottingham Cottage to Frogmore Cottage, just over an hour away. It may have been a fantasy to imagine Prince Harry and Meghan getting Archie together with the three Cambridge children every night after dinner for cousin bonding at Kensington Palace. But when Harry and Meghan announced they were leaving for Frogmore Cottage and more privacy, they began the process of distancing themselves from the rest of the family that's still continuing now. Fans were not pleased to see this couple breaking tradition in that way. Ever since, public perception has gone from bad to worse. Fans became resentful of Harry and Meghan's quest for privacy. After moving to Frogmore, the rest of Harry and Meghan's reputation continued to unravel with a never-ending stream of unflattering news stories. It was the feud between Harry and William, the couple's decision to keep Archie's birth private and not pose for photos right after, Meghan's rumored attitude with staff, which earned her unflattering nicknames, and so on. Eventually, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex got so fed up with the drama that they made a life-altering decision to quit the royal family, which they announced via Instagram in January 2020. Would it have come to this if they had just stayed in Kensington Palace? We'll never know what could have been. Another report. David Beckham has told how he's proud of his amazing friend, Prince Harry following his marriage to Meghan Markle and the birth of their nine-month-old son, Archie. The former England footballer praised the Duke of Sussex for growing up amid his decision to step back back as a senior royal and relocate to Canada. So I haven't spoken to Harry about him moving, as the sporting legend said, speaking to LMT Channel. As we speak as friends, and that's the most important thing for me, since I think he's enjoying being a young father for the first time, and that's what we always spoke about. When you are a parent, it changes everything for you. He always needs to be happy. Zee's the father of four went on to say how he and wife Victoria are proud of how the Duke has taken to being a dad following Archie's birth in May last year. Zwi love him, and he's an amazing person, and that's the most important thing. But I'm proud to see him growing up as an individual and being that person that every father wants to be, as he added. Every father wants to be loving to their children, and that's what I see with him. These. So there you have it. That's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.